right, kids. We are on week three, day four. All right, good job. Genesis 24, 14 through 15 is our highlight verse. So let's open up our Bibles. Genesis 24, 14 through 15, King James Version. And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, let down thy pitcher, I pray thee, that I may drink. And she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And thereby shall I know that thou hast showed kindness upon my master. And it came to pass, before he had done speaking, that, behold, Rebekah came out who was born to Bethuel, son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, with her pitcher upon her shoulder. Genesis 24, 14 through 15. Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Genesis 24, 14 through 15. I will speak to a young woman. I'll say to her, Please lower your jar so I can have a drink. Suppose, she says, have a drink of water, and I'll get some for your camels too. Then let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. That's how I'll know you have been kind to my master. Before he had finished praying, Rebecca came out. She was carrying a jar on her shoulder. She was the daughter of Milcah's son, Bethuel. Milcah was the wife of Abraham's brother, Nahor. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. So now we're going to learn more in the explain section. Abraham sent a servant to find a wife for Isaac. So Abraham wanted to make sure his son Isaac got a good wife and he sent his servant to go find him one. The servant prayed for God to show him the woman that would be Isaac's wife. So the servant didn't want to make a mistake. He wanted to be sure. So he asked God to show him who is the right one. Rebecca was the woman God chose to be Isaac's wife. Abraham sent a servant back to his homeland to find a wife for Isaac. The servant had to trust God to show him the woman he had chosen for Isaac. He prayed that God would show her to him through her kindness. Rebecca was the woman God had chosen to become Isaac's wife. So now this part is the apply section. Part of God's promise to make Abraham a great nation was that Isaac must have a wife. God had already planned for Rebekah to become Isaac's wife. Now, just a little side note, God knows everything, right? So he knows who's going to be your wife or your husband. Okay. God is always working to fulfill his promises. Circle the shadow that perfectly matches Rebecca. So here's the picture, and then you can see which one is Rebecca. Pause the screen to check it out here. And here's my answer. Is that what you got? Now it's time for us to respond. So let's pray. Bow your heads. God, thank you for always working to fulfill your promises. We love you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Great job. Now it's time for our memory verse. Romans 4.20, King James Version. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Romans 4.20
Now we'll look at it in the NIRV version. Romans 4.20 But Abraham kept believing in God's promise. He became strong in his faith. He gave glory to God. Romans 4.20 This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.